Yang ini nombor dua tu dia dekat lah. Ha, dekat. Tapi baru buat jauh. Hmm. Untuk dengan taksi ni. Okey. Saya pergi sana eh. Abang solo lah. Kalau start putus-putus tu. Betul juga pergi sana pergi sini. Kan? Okay, abang tengok dulu eh. Saya gerak ke sana.
Tak tahu. Ha. Wah, kalau nak fishing paling panjang pun 5 meter. Oh. 5 meter. Tu saya jauh ni. Okey, boleh baik apa? Senang. Hmm? Bajet 200 boleh kau dapat 2 meter, 5 meter Dan klima air yang baik Kan? Sebaskan laptop banyak Hmm, dengan klima air Kalau dekat mu, dekat mai sana? Eh, jangan pergi dekat mai Di dekat ni lah Di dalam pasar Di dalam pasar Haa Haa Sama je sama ya. Ah boleh juga. Ah uh, cek yang ori. Bukan sikit lah. Ada ori. Ada. Ada yang baik sikit. Kita orang sentuh banyak tu Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Dia tahu bila kena kena. Untuk orang just ikut je. Ikut boleh tahu. Untuk remind them of the organizer. Kami ada yang mobile phone on silent mode throughout the ceremony. Kindly be seated during the occasion. Kindly rise upon the announcement of the arrival of our honored guest. In case of emergencies, listen to the instructions and please leave the hall in an orderly manner. Thank you for your kind cooperation and attention. Lepas tu tanya. Lepas tu tanya. Tak ada. Dia tak pula. Aku dah buat tu sebenarnya. Okay. Eh, kau. Kena ke? Bagi dong bila dia sudah. Ha? Masuk usul sahaja? Ha? Masuk. Oh, masuk abu. Masuk abu. Eh. Masuk abu. 
Bu dari dulu sih ya, Bu? Ya, Bu, sini, ya. Ladies and gentlemen, announcing the arrival of Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. M. Iqbal Saripan, 
Deputy Vice Chancellor Academy and International, accompanied by members of the Faculty Management to the inaugural lecture, Rigid Ceramic Filters, Numerical Simulation of the Pressure and Velocity Distribution. To begin with, I would like to invite Ustaz Muhammad Norisham Nordin from Islamic Center, University of Malaysia, to recite the du'a. Please welcome. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dan salam sejahtera. 
Thank you for the recitation. Ladies and gentlemen, let us use this opportunity to thank the mighty Allah for his blessing that we are able to be here today. It is hoped that through this event, we will we will be able to get to know one another in a much better way, gaining more experiences, and last but not least, to develop a strong networking relationship among us. Without further ado, we would like to invite our most distinguished guest of honor, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. M. Iqbal Sariban, Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academy and International, to chair the event. Please give a warm round of applause. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Yang bahagia Profesor Datuk Engineer Dr. Muhammad Saleh Jaafar, Dean Fakulti of Engineering Universiti Putra Malaysia. Yang bahagia Profesor Dr. Lukman Chuah Abdullah, Alias Chuah Yong Kuan. Our VIP this morning, the most important person this morning who is going to present his inaugural lecture. Honored guests, lecturers, students, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to convey regards from Yang Bahagia Datin Paduka Vice Chancellor who's not been able with us this morning due to prior commitment. I'm honoured to be the person to introduce Professor Dr. Lukman Chuah Abdullah alias Chuah Tiong Guan in this auspicious occasion. Professor Lukman Chuah started his career at the Department of Chemical and Environmental Engineering since 1996 and currently a professor in his department. He served as the head of research laboratory in institutes of tropical forestry and forest products in Prof for seven years 
and currently the editor of Introps Bulletin Intropica. He was appointed also as the Deputy Dean of Industrial Relationship and International at the School of Graduate Studies in the year of 2011 until 2014. Professor Lokman Chua, research involved chemical engineering, especially in the separation technology and particle technology, environmental engineering in the area of air pollution and, and gas cleaning, wastewater treatment, material engineering, nanomaterials, uh, biopolymers, and uh, phytochemical processing, which includes extraction and drying technology. He has also managed to secure several national and international flagship research grants, which include CNGDI engine and transmission project with values of 28 million from MOSTI, Increase production efficiency in smallholder canal production systems for specific industrial applications, a uh, UNIDO project with a value of USD 2 million ringgit, 2 million USD, and uh, Kenaf upstream and downstream research with value of 5 million ringgit, which is supported by Economic Planning Unit EPU and many others. In 2007, he was awarded another project which related to biopolymer with a value of 3 million ringgit under the Ministry of High Education, Malaysia High COE Tropical Wood and Fiber Research Center, Institute of Tropical Forestry and Forest Product in Trop UPM. He has also developed a very strong research network with research institutions such as the Malaysian Palm Oil Board, MPOB, the Malaysian Nuclear Agency, the Forest Research Institute Malaysia Frame, Malaysia Rubber Board, Malaysia Timber Industry Board, and other higher educational institutions. He has contributed greatly in the human capital development. Currently, he is supervising 13 PhD students and 4 master's students. And uh, he has 24 master's and 14 PhD students graduated under his supervision. In publication, Professor Lokman Chua has published more than 500 publications which include 249 refereed journals, proceedings, books and technical articles. He has served as the editorial board members of several journals and owned 12 intellectual properties of patterns and industrial designs, ID. He is also servicing as an editorial member of various local and international journals. Professor Lokman Chua is actively involved in professional bodies activities. He is the committee member in the Chemical Engineering Technical Division of IEM, Institutions of Engineers Malaysia, from uh, 2005 to 2008. He was also an active member and in charge of organizing talks and visits of IEM. He is also the committee member of Publication Standing Committee, the IEM Library Chairman, the bulletin and the IM journal editor in the year of 2005 to 2009. Professor Lokman Chua is also a member of many professional bodies such as Royal Academy of Science International Trust, Tunisia, professional member of the Institute of Materials, Malaysia, member of the Institute of Chemical Engineers, UK, life member of the Malaysian All Scientists and Technologies Association, and the Malaysian Water Association. Besides, mm -hmm. Professor Lokman Chua also has served as an assessor of Malaysian Qualification Agency, MQA, and uh, he has been actively evaluating programs of IPTAs and IPTS since 2008. He has also been invited as the keynote speakers and plenary speakers of many international and national events and conferences. Professor Lokman Chua had also won several awards in teaching, service and research, such as Award of Excellent Teaching. He has also been awarded as one of our five star supervisors. He has received medals from ITEX, MTE, BIS and Eureka. Professor Lokman Chua also has won the IEM Young Engineer Awards 
for his excellent contribution in the field of engineering and research in 2006. He was also awarded with Raja Tansri Zainal Prize for Best Technical Paper in 2006 and Engineer Tian Lip Tong Prize for the Best Technical Paper Award in 2008. In 2013, he was awarded as the one of the top research scientists in Malaysia, TRSM, by Academy of Science Malaysia, ASM. Furthermore, he was also awarded as the Malaysia Rising Star Award by the Ministry of Higher Education Malaysia, and he is also recognized as one of the top 1% global cited researchers by Thomson Reuters in 2015. Professor Dr. Lokman Chua Abdullah, Elias Chua Tiong Guan, has achieved excellence in teaching and research as well as professional activities, particularly in the area of chemical engineering. Let us now listen to his inaugural lecture entitled Rigid Ceramic Filters, Numerical Simulation of the Pressure and Velocity Distributions. Thank you very much. I know very good morning to our distinguished guest of honor, Yang Mahir, Professor Dr. Ian Pipa, Sabir Saripan, EPTY Chancellor, Academy of the International, and our gracious host, Yang Mahir, Professor Tato Engineer, Dr. Mohamed Salih Japa, in our engineering faculty, member of the University Management, Dato Dato, Dati Dati, distinguished guest. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's my honor to welcome you to come to my inaugural lecture today. My topic today is on the rigid ceramic filter, the difficult situation of the pressure and velocity distribution. The topic sounds a bit technical sound, but I try to be I try to make it generalize it so that everybody can be much easier to understand the topic. of particular removal from gases of high temperature have been rapidly over the last few decades. It's a huge demand of the, the industry that requests the uh, urgent request and remove the particulars from the waste gas, exhaust gas and the fuel gas. Of course, the, in addition, the environmental legislation have rapidly implemented in most of the industrial country, mean that the need of uh, everything but not long, uh, but long term. Filtration requirements are at least uh, the challenge of the high pressure, high temperature filtration problem, which stimulate the advanced development of this technology. Before we go into detail about the technology, let us uh, understand that what's the particular method. Particular is typically defined by size, which can be divided into the initial inhaler, pulse particle, which should be between the particle, uh, particle matter size between the 0.5 micron to 10 micron 
and five particle, which is particle five, we buy a two point five micron and below. You can see on you know, the picture there the, the size of the the, uh, the particle on the hair of the human hair on the human hair. Everybody understand that the air pollution is a serious problem, especially on the particular airborne. It causes a number of hair issues, including asthma, heart disease, and cancer. It reduces visibility, such as haze. And stain and damage the building and temperatures, deplete the soil and damage the forest and crops. Some of the industry can release a lot of these particular metals, including the power generation plant, the chemical process such as uh, metal refining, the accumulation, uh, drying, uh, catalytic packing, petrochemical industry, and also equipment installation. So, what if I ask that? What is the best solution for the particular removal? Uh, it seems that the problem is still remain. Uh, so such a long time, the technology has been developed, developed but still yet uh, to find any solution on the air pollution, so especially the partic particular removal. What might suggest that the best solution is there is no industry. If you shut down all the plant operation, then you don't need to have any particular emission. But that's the best solution. So I hope I could, we need to solve the particular method. So, filtration might be one of the methods. So, first of all, you should ask that why we need to remove the, the, the gas in the high temperature instead of the, the normal temperature or ambient temperature. The desire to remain the well above acid dew point to avoid the corrosion of the instrument corrosion of the equipment which will be which caused by the moisture of the gases itself. So to improve the thermal e dynamic efficiency, especially when the downstream heat recovery is employed. Usually what the industry practice is when the, the, the hot gas will be cooled down to a lower temperature by furnaces or air changer. But this will, will cause some kind of waste, waste of energy and, and uh, the heat is not recoverable. <coughs> So, to allow the simulation removal of gas comp comp component by the dry scrubbing is one of the methods to preserve the energy and to save the, the, the process. So, a few processes have been recommended for the high temperature gas cleaning, such as cyclon, granular filter, electron setting precipitator, rabbit filter, rigid barrier filter. Each of them have their advantage and disadvantage. Such as cyclone, they might have a, uh, the, the, uh, they can stand the high, moderate the high temperature. However, they might have a low, to low, lower efficiency. They can do remove the very fine particles. Granular filter, they, they can stand a moderate temperature, not, not very high temperature. It has no static precipitator. However, our own only function to certain particles which can be charged. They might work working for a particular subset like rubber and those are not conductive. Fabric filter might be the best solution. Looking at the, they have high efficiency uh, and however, fabric filter cannot last very high temperature. They only can reach, reach uh, covering the current technology, they can only reach around 300 degrees Celsius using a teflon. So rigid ceramic filter become a, the, the choice for the high temperature gas cleaning. Here are some pictures of the micron, which was installed in the industry, the ESP, and the fabric filter. So usually, you can see from this picture, usually they will install the gas cleaning system and still gas on after the gasifier, but the objective is for both is not only to preserve the environment but also to protect the turbine in the power plant. So let's have a look how the ceramic filter look like. Here is some of the example of ceramic filter with the different size of diameter and different type of length. 
this how they install the ceramic filter. So the filter medium is provided in the form of long hollow tubes or candle close at one end and hung vertically from a tube plate such as the gas we filter faster outside river, depositing the dust cake on the outside, outside of the filter. Each candle is cleaned periodically by applying a short pass of gas paint in cutting gas, which causes the gas to flow direction to the reverse momentarily so that the dust cake will be removed from the, the filter. With fall into the suitable, this will be To understand the cleaning of the filter, we have to understand the filtration theory. Filtration, as most of you might understand, because most of you are in the household, you might have a water filter. The gas filter applies the similar principle like a water filter. So, filtration is a removal of solid particles or continuous fit phase. In this case, it's a gas. And passing through a picture through a porous filter medium on which the solid are deposited. Uh, a distinction can be drawn between the two main types of filtration behavior, which is classified as depth filtration or surface or barrier filtration. What is depth filtration? You can see on the picture, the particle, the collection of particles on the gas occur throughout the filter medium. They are penetrated into the, the pore and of the filter medium. Hence, for, for the surface filtration, the medium acts as a barrier particular so that the filter cake is built up on the surface of the medium with no penetration into the medium itself. Here is the SEM picture of the filter medium. On the, on, the left, on the left hand side, which is the depth filtration, you can see that the particular dust particles are shown to adhere to the, the fiber between the structure of the fiber mati uh, filter material. And for the yeah, the right hand, right hand side, which is uh, the surface filter, you can see that the dust cake are formed and subsequent that the dust particle are remo are remo uh, removal will be occur on the surface of this cake, the food, transforming a filter cake layer. A typical filter, filter operation are shown in this picture. First, the, the filter gas will flow to the filter and, and be filtered through the, uh, the filter medium and the clean gas will go through the, the, the filter medium and go out to, from the, uh, to the environment and the rest, the, the dirty gas, the, the particle will be blocked by the filter and after some time, the dark cake will be formed on the surface of the filter medium and up to a certain condition that the reverse force will be applied to remove the dust cake layer on the filter You can see from this picture how the filter cake is being formed. The dust cake load gas are filtered out and form the filter cake on the surface of the filter medium. And during the on the second uh, on the right hand side picture, you can see that the filter cake has been removed by the reverse force, which by applying a reverse flow, a reverse flow by using the pot jack. One of the key parameters in the filtration and cleaning of the gas is the phase velocity. What is phase velocity? It is defined as the surface normal flow rate through the filter medium. And the phase velocity is defined mathematically as an actual volumetric flow rate, which divided by the total filtration area per candle and the number of candles. Another key parameter for filtration and out of the filament filter is a pressure drop. The pressure drop is primary dependent variable on the system. The performance of the filter by monitoring the pressure drop alone over a period of time and the condition in the full scale dustification are very constant. So the variation of the value of the pressure drop are often observed over a short period. And you can see on this picture, this is the conditioning of filter operation. So the, the filter will operate over the uh, long period of time but for every structure circle that there is a certain uh, 
uh, maximum pressure drop, there would be pause by the, there would be have a, have been retained by the reverse force flow, by project flow, then the, uh, we are repeating for a free cycle until the flow is nearly stable. And this process is called the filter conditioning. Another key parameter in the filtration is the area loading. It's a mean area cake loading defined as the mass of the dust present in the filter per unit filtration. This is often used to quantify the capacity of the filter. Area loading is a maximum peer to the reverse cleaning. The maximum can be as high as several kilograms per meter square or as little as 100 grams per meter square. As you know that the, after the filtration, after the filtration process, you need to clean the filter to remove the filter cake. So the reservoir pressure is one of the key parameters in the gas in, uh, in the filter cake removal. The reservoir pressure is the pressure that at which the cleaning cost is supplied for cleaning. The gas store in the pressure vessel, which is designed to supply the full volume of the cleaning gas, requires an necessary pressure. The actual volumetric for an entry of the cavity can be several times higher than the pressure for pressure line flow for the reservoir due to the entrainment of gas from the surrounding atmosphere. Due, due to the jet flow of the reverse flow near the, the, the filter cavity, there's quite a kind of vacuum because of the high velocity of the, the, end, the open end of the filter. That causes a secondary flow from the which is being called as an entrapment. On the on the but, uh, the candle neck of the filter, which will increase the the filter flow rate. So, how the filter be uh, how the particle be collected in the filter? There are four mechanisms used in the in the filtration, which is called as diffusion, initial infection, direct interception, and gravity. <laughs> This is a picture showing that uh, some of them will make it much easier to understand how the edge of the mechanism working. Shape of an Alex O deposit on the fiber or the filter surface from left to right. Deposition of interception on the left hand side, the far left is the interception. It's the deposition by the interception. On this middle, there's a deposition of the initial infection, and on the right hand side, there's the position for the diffusion. There are three different types of pattern on the particular the position of the filter surface. As theoretically, the flow rate to the home filter filter should be equal to the axial direction of the filter. However, in actual, you can see from this picture that the face velocity facing on the, through the, the filter filter on the axial direction are different. The higher velocity is not found on the candle neck, which is on the open end of the filter, and the lowest velocity on the closed end of the filter. The pressure drop across the wall related to the resistance to the flow of the filter medium can also be calculated using the Darcy law of flow through the porous medium. From the experiment data, we found that even for the same filter candle, for each section of filter, the resistance is different. That's also one of the reasons because the bound distribution flow in the filter candle is different from the open end to the, throughout the to the closed end. How the filter get fog? From this picture, you can see that there are two types of mechanism that filter take fog. The particle will breach on the surface pole during the initial filtration period, and subsequent particle capture happen on the post deposit structure. On the top, top right, the cohesive or low energy particle will form kind of bridging on the surface of the filter, and on the cohesive and on high energy particle will cause a denser cake, filter cake. And the operation of particle will build up later in the later of the filtration process. The filtration behavior also strongly influenced by the different type of dust. 
as see from here that the pressure drop across the filter and the residual layer are different are different very and very with the type of the different particle types. What's more important on the filter medium itself? In the market there are many types of uh, filter. Even the ceramic filter, they have a uh, dense filter or the uh, very uh, uh, rigid filter or a back filter. So here I show four types of different filter that feed the video that they in uh, by the SEM photo. This is found that the 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 filter back filter have a higher porosity, which on the which on the, the top two two diagram picture which are belong to the back, back filter type of filter video, they, they have a higher porosity. And the, uh, the lower two, uh, two figure, have, which is a rigid filter, have a denser uh, filter cake due to the low porosity and porosity. One of the key issues in the, the, the filtration industry is a reverse flow why is it so important? After the filter, the filter has been full out, have been covered fully by the filter filter dust, the pressure drop, uh, the pressure is built out. So it needs to be clean, so to allow more more uh, space and, and hole for the further filtration cleaning. So reverse cleaning is important to remove the filter cake on the surface. Theoretically, cake removal is the detachment occur when the tensile stress generated by the cleaning action will come either by action to the cake or, or to the filter medium or the cohesive bond between the particles. When the required stress is achieved, stimulated com and com complete removal should be theoretical occur. However, from the actual research we have done, we found that there's a diff there's not a linear relationship between the pressure drop and the and the the, the cake detachment. The pressure beyond along the filter candle are different. That will cause kind of di this uneven distribution of the filter cake being detached. Here we can see from the the, the, the experiment by applying the project to the candle, the pressure the pressure along the filter in the different the different position are different. So what happened? The cake is often being not fully removed and the mass of the filter cake will remain behind the, on the surface of the filter and the phenomena known as a patchy cleaning occurred where the cake is not completely removed from the surface of the filter, leaving the patch like pattern. This patching cleaning affects both the residue pressure drop and the cleaning efficiency. You can see from this picture the cake removal curve. You can see that. 75% of the removal of cake on the very left hand side of the curve, the request very low pressure drop, with that they require a very low energy then to remove the cake. But however, for the remaining 25%, they request a very high stress, high energy to remove it, and it's not easy to remove 100% of the cake. So you can see from the picture that the, the, the so-called patchy cleaning happened on the filter candle. So it's like orange peel on the surface of the filter. So there's uneven det detachment on the filter candle, which might cause uneven cleaning, and it will cause a cake peel out in the on the surface is uneven and how not homogeneous. You can see from this picture that the cake, the, the cake detachment mechanism on the ceramic filter. The picture show that. Not all the, 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 the filter cake are detached at the same time. There's an uneven on the surface filter. Although the same pressure pressure are applying throughout the filter. 
However, the velocity of the action direction and pressure across the filter are different. Therefore, the cost of the uneven of the peak detachment along the filter candle. So, my study focused on the simulation of filter cake cleaning. Before me, there are a few researchers have tried to do some kind of simulation on the ceramic filter, such as uh, Smith in 1936, they simulate the dust cake on the filter surface using the finite uh, volume method. And also the Dieter and Casper in uh, 1999 also calculate the pressure distribution on the uh, filter handle uh, during a filtration. Most of this research, assuming that the, the resistance of the filter are consistent and they assuming that the axial direction are consistent and many of them assuming that the cake built out on the surface filter are homogeneous and uniform. And, but in practical, this is not correct because and you can see from the picture that the, due to the difference in the, the axial velocity and also the pressure drop on the surface cadre along the filter axis, there's, there's a, a uneven distribution stress that they move to remove the filter cake. That cause the uneven distribution of the filter cake still attached on the surface after the cleaning. So the CMD code have been applied to simulate the filter flow. Some assumptions we made, such as the flow is an axis symmetry, the free is incompressible and have constant property. The solid phase is achieved to follow the free, free flow because of the particulars are very small, typically weight of medium is uh, size is uh, less than 10 micron. So the ordinary navy flow equation is applied and, and, and is Isotopic will vectorize the ergon equation and does it all for supply. And you can see here of these two pictures on the left hand side is the velocity profile of the season meter candle, and the left hand side is the static pressure profile. <coughs> the pressure is, is high, the velocity is high on the, the open end of the filter and, and become minimal, minim, minimum at the end, close end of the filter. And so as the, the static pressure, high pressure different on the, 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 the open end and throughout the filter to, toward the lower end of the filter, which is the close end of the filter. Experimental results have been compared with the simulation result of the, of the, face, uh, the, filter flow, uh, the gas flow on the filter candle. And uh, a reasonable, acceptable result have, and, is, and the agreement of, is in agreement with the experimental data. With the, together with the simulation result. However, CNT can only use to simulate the pressure flow and the pressure distribution and velocity profile on the filter filter. We request that to, to do our own algorithm to simulate the dust cake de uh, development on the surface filter. So I propose a filter cake build out detachment model in, in my work. First, I should read that, that, that this is the filter candle. This is the cross section area. The inner circle indicates the candle, which in the gray, so gray area is a filter medium. And the outer leg circle is a, the filter gate that will form during the filtration. <laughs> this model is, I consider as a pseudo two dimensional model. Before, before, me, before I my work, most of the filter model are assuming as a one dimensional model. We are assuming on the cross section area of the filter and assume that the, the gas flow rate, the pressure drop along the axis of the filter are even. However, in my case, I assume that the filter gate built out on the surface will be uneven from time to time after the cleaning and the, the cake will build out on top of the, the residue of the cake. So I have to calculate the pressure, the pressure and velocity along the axial filtration during the filtration process and also the after reverse screening. Here are some of the equations applied in my model. Although it's not a complete set of the, as, uh, the model, 
These are the few key parameters and the key equation that apply in my model. So you can see that here, the particle size had actually, uh, had actually contributed to the uh, different type of specific resistance on the filter. The resistance of the filter is very important because the previous work never reported on the uneven particle size this, this system and even they, they, they don't they assume that the filter is the particle is too small to be considered as a as a problem in the simulation and to be east of, of the simulation they always assume that the thick, thickness is is very thin and can be ignored. But in our case and our spare data we found that the, and many reported literature have seen that the filter cake and resistance a cake resistance and the filter and medium resistance are the important parameter in the cleaning. So you can see that the cake porosity relationship with the cake removal stress and they are closely related to each other. You can see that at the wrong porosity of the cake, the filtration the cake removal is very high. However, when the cake becomes denser, the removal becomes difficult. So the, the smaller the smaller the particle, the, the easier the the the, difficult, the more difficult that the the, the The, the smaller the particle, they easy to be detected. However, the bigger particle, they will be uh, more, e e the more easy, uh, more even on the porosity, which is more difficult uh, the, in terms of the, uh, in terms of the, sorry, in terms of the, the particle size, the smaller particle size, they need higher, higher energy to remove when most of the, 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 the uh, the particle which is on the surface have been removed. The residue particle which have a strong adhesive pore will remain on the surface and is difficult to remove. Here the picture shows that schematic diagram shows that the, the according to the time profile, when at the beginning the filter is clean, which is on the very right hand side, the right hand side, the filter is clean, and after some time the cake starts to build up along the filter. You can see from the picture that the filter cake is not built evenly on the filter. It is due to the different pressure uh, across uh, pressure not crosses the filter medium, and also the different action velocity on the filter medium. So the cake built up of the, with the different thicknesses of the surface medium, and and on the left hand side, on the right hand side, the filter the filter is continue to build up after the cleaning. You can see that. Those, those filter cake uh, after the detachment, when they remain, will, will further develop the even thicker, thicker filter cake on the surface. This I can show you that on the, on the upper curve is, the, is the, the, the profile of the, the pressure difference before the cleaning, and the lower curve is the, is the pressure drop after the cleaning. Here, here shown that you can see that transmutation here with, with a different phase velocity. The filter cake here from the, 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 from the on the zero is the open end of the filter, and on the one is uh, the, the, the close end of the filter. You can see that sorry, that river, sorry, my baby. On the on the on the, the one is the open end of the filter, and the other side is a close end of the filter. You can see that on the on the open end, the filter gate are built up very thick, thick compared to the close end of the filter. What happened? It's because of the most of the filter uh, 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 affected by the entrapment, second entrapment for pro during the post-cap cleaning. And most of the particles accumulate on the bottom, uh, the candle deck that cause a thicker filter gate filter on the, the, the filter candle deck. Then we try to simulate the conditioning process of the filter cycle using the, the, the detachment motor. 
To solve the problem of orthopedic aid, researcher and industry have proposed several solutions. There are several types of alternative type, filter types proposed in the, 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 by the company and industry or researcher, such as Lucky Legend, Backup LMB, the Asasi Glass Filter, the Westinghouse Cross Pro Filter. So, what is LMB Hot Gas Filter? The picture shows this is an LMB Hot Gas Filter. It's quite similar to the conventional filter house uh, for the cylinder filter. The only difference is the design is upside down. In, in, instead of putting the candle vertically from up to down, they, they, have, they are reversing the direction of the filter, uh, the filter candle in, in the reverse direction. For the Asasi gas filter concept, The dusting gas flow pass through from the inside to the outside. It's conventionally the filter or fabric filter or ceramic filter, the, the, the dirty gas will flow from outside of the filter medium and go through the, the filter medium and the dust, dust will be blocked by the filter medium and the clean gas will be flow out to the filter candle or the fabric filter. However, in this Asasi glass filter, the reverse concept will be applied. The clean gas, the dirty gas is flowing inside the filter and the clean gas is, it will be flowing throughout to the filter. It's a, it's a dust. So it's a different way of the, the mechanism. <coughs> the Westinghouse Harm Cross fit, Flow Filter. It consists of a monolith block formed with a channel through which the dirty gas enters the, and the green gas exists. Whereas now, this idea has been developed by other companies, notably by the Kishina Ram and NGK. In this form, dust fill out during the filtration between the dust, the dirty side channel, and the cleaning is achieved by applying the reverse pole to the clean side, as you can see in this picture. The, the industry is still in the need of, of the, uh, the, the filter medium. Many filter medium recently have been developed, such as the, the alloy medium, which is, have, has lost a very high, can be, can be lost or the last high temperature and it's durable because of their, their, as compared to the filter, which are more front, uh, printer, they can last, uh, they can withstand a uh, bigger particle size, uh, dust, such as like, like metal particle. However, they also have their drawback, such as a high pressure drop, high uh, operation cost, and other other, and also the high capital cost. So, it's, it, the area is still remain a big uh, uh, question, and, and uh, the area, there's a, still a lot of room of the study of the future research. Usually, the, uh, the, the cost of the demanding of the energy, such as like, like, like the gasification plant, IGCC integrated uh, gas, gas combined cycle, gasification combined cycle. So the, the demand of the, the high temperature gas cleaning is become crucial. However, research still remain uh, continuous and still a lot of research needed to, to improve the system. So. I hope that I, can, I, I have given you some brief idea about this, what happened in the dispute of the research. And I uh, thank you very much for your patience. Thank you very much. and uh, congratulations to Professor Dr. Wan Chua. And uh, I feel you, I listen to you and I hear you, and I know that everybody is hungry. Because uh, throughout the presentations, 
it's all about cakes, right? So many different types of cakes and uh, I uh, hope that the lunch that we have outside will uh, fulfill all your expectations about the cakes and I hope that there will be cakes outside. So thank you very much again to uh, the Faculty of Engineering, congratulations to Professor Lukman and thank you very much all for you know, being and participating with this inaugural lecture for this series and uh, I really hope that I can see all of you again in the next series to come. With that, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and have a nice day. Thank you, Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. M. Iqbal Saripan for chairing the event. And thank you, Professor Dr. Lukman Chua Abdullah, alias Chua Tiong Guan, for delivering his lecture. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, it marks the end of our session today. We would like to extend our heartfelt and gratitude and appreciation to everyone with us today for the support and contribution in making this event a great success. On behalf of our organizing committee, I would like to invite Yang Berbahagia, Professor Dr. M. Iqbal Saripan and Faculty Management to have a photography session and visit to mini exhibition and lunch at the Executive Lounge. Other distinguished guests also can have your lunch at the Executive Lounge or foyer. Students may have your lunch at the foyer. Thank you and we look forward to seeing you in our upcoming event. With that, wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.